The Senate Committee on Health has debunked rumour claiming that the government has stopped paying attention to other health challenges since the emergence of COVID-19. Chairman of the committee, Ibrahim Olorigbe, stated this while briefing Senate correspondents on the fourth annual legislative summit on health in Abuja. Olorigbe, who confirmed that the only 50% of the 500 billion Naira intervention fund for COVID-19 has so far been released, assured that the government is paying serious attention to tackling other dangerous diseases like Lassa fever, tuberculosis, HIV and AIDS, malaria, amongst others. Now, that fund in the budget is not only for health sector, it's a multi-sectoral thing. It includes the humanitarian ministry's allocation for all the social interventions. It includes Ministry of Environment intervention. It includes information interve I mean, uh, activities and even agriculture. So a, it's a total of 500 uh, billion. But what is in the health sector? was actually just 86 billion, 126. But even before the budget, some of the initial expense, the expenditure affected by the uh, government or the authority of the, because NATO does not have, uh, have a vacuum, the president gives some approval, but it must be captured based on the constitution. So the total was 126 billion, which we approved. The lawmaker notes that the overall objective of setting up a legislative network was to effectively leverage statutory functions of the legislature in Nigeria for improved health financing towards universal coverage. The overall objective of setting up the network, the legislative network, was to effectively leverage statutory functions of legislature in Nigeria for improved health financing effective and efficient utilization of such resources toward universal health coverage. The specific objectives include to achieve improved appropriation to health sector by deepening the knowledge of legislators on economic, social, health, and political benefit of improved health funding towards universal health coverage. To ensure prompt and adequate release of allocated funds by working with the lawmakers to make relevant central budget agencies accountable for fund releases, to ensure timely passage of relevant high-quality health laws, especially the legal framework for state-supported health insurance schemes. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our